Your prescriber has ordered parenteral nutrition therapy that will be administered through an infusion pump. This educational video will provide you with step-by-step -step instructions on how to administer your parenteral nutrition infusion effectively and safely. Throughout this video, we will use the term parenteral nutrition, or PN. Your prescriber may also refer to PN therapy as either TPN or HPN. This educational video is for parenteral nutrition that is administered with two bags per day, one clear bag and one white bag that are hung separately from each other. If your PN solution contains everything in one bag per day, please refer to the appropriate video for one bag infusion. It is very important to clean your hands between every step of the PN preparation process, including before handling the PN bag, before and after cleaning your work area and PN mat, before and after gathering supplies, before starting the infusion, and whenever you think your hands may have become contaminated. Clean hands thoroughly using soap and warm water. Follow by drying hands with a clean towel. If no soap and water is available, use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Prior to preparing your PN solution for administration, select an uncluttered work area. Clean the work area with warm, soapy water or antimicrobial cleaning agent. Remove both the PN and lipid bag from the refrigerator and place on the PN preparation mat. Read the labels to determine the amount of time needed to allow the PN and lipid bags to reach room temperature before administration. Never speed the warming process by heating or microwaving the solution. Carefully read the PN and lipid bag labels and verify the correct name of patient, volume, and amount of PN ingredients and expiration date. If any of the information on the label is incorrect, please call us. Carefully inspect the PN and lipid bags for floating particles, cloudiness, discoloration, or leaks. If any of those are present, do not use and promptly call us. Carefully observe the color of the PN and lipid solutions. The PN solution will be clear and the lipid bag will be white. If the color of your PN solution is different than previously provided by Option Care Health, please promptly call us. Gather all supplies, including IV tubing with filter, flush syringes, alcohol wipes, syringes with needles, and any PN additives. Place them on the PN preparation mat as indicated. PN additives may include vitamins, other nutrients, or medications. Be sure you have each additive listed on the PN bag label. Place infusion pump on the clean work area. Please note that your infusion pump may be different than the one pictured in this video. Place sharps and trash containers near your work area. Locate the injection port on the clear PN bag. If there is a cover over the port, remove it. Scrub the end of the port with an alcohol wipe for at least 15 seconds and allow to air dry. Do not let the port touch other surfaces once cleaned with alcohol. Locate the two vitamin vials on your PN preparation mat. Remove the protective caps from the two vitamin vials. Scrub the rubber stoppers of the vials with an alcohol wipe for 15 seconds and allow to air dry. Do not use a vial that is missing a protective cap. Promptly call us. Locate the empty syringe on your PN preparation mat. If the syringe does not have a needle attached, locate the needle. Remove the empty syringe and needle from their wrappers. Attach the needle to the syringe by twisting gently. Next, draw air into the syringe by slowly pulling back the plunger of the syringe to the 2 millimeter mark. Place the vial on a hard surface and insert the needle straight into the rubber stopper of the first vitamin vial. Slowly inject all of the air into the vial, making sure not to touch the needle tip to the solution inside the vial. Pick up the vitamin vial and turn upside down. Adjust the needle so the tip is in the fluid. 
slowly withdraw all contents into the syringe. Be careful not to touch the needle when removing the vial. Using the same syringe, repeat these steps with the second vitamin vial. Locate the injection port on the clear PN bag. Never inject additives into the lipid bag. If the injection port has come into contact with anything since you cleaned it with alcohol, clean it again and allow to air dry. Insert the needle straight into the PN bag's injection port. Be careful not to puncture the bag. Once the needle has been inserted into the injection port, place your thumb on the plunger and slowly inject the vitamins into the PN bag. Remove the syringe and do not recap the needle. Dispose of the used syringe and needle into the sharps container. For any additional additives, follow the same process previously shown using a new syringe and needle. Once all additives have been added to the PN bag, gently rotate the bag in order to mix the additives into the PN solution. The additive should mix completely with the PN solution and produce an even color. Locate two packages of IV tubing on the PN preparation mat. Remove them from their packaging. Once removed, close the tubing clamp on both sets. Remove the tab from the PN bag port. Remove the cover from the spike of one tubing set, being careful not to touch the end. While gripping the outside of the PN port with one hand, Push the end of the spike into the port with your other hand using a twisting motion. You will experience some resistance when spiking the bag, so continue the twisting motion until the spike reaches the solution. Use caution not to puncture the bag. This process will be repeated with the second tubing set and the lipid bag. Locate the Y-side connector and remove it from its packaging. Your Y-side connector may come with the injection caps already attached. If not, you will need to locate and remove the injection caps from their packaging. Once located, remove the protective end caps from the injection cap and the Y-side connector. After removal, avoid touching the protected ends to prevent contamination. Attach an injection cap to each arm of the Y-side connector by using a twisting motion until secure. Once you have attached the injection caps, or if the caps are already attached, proceed to connect the tubing. Connect one tubing set to each arm of the Y-side connector. To do this, remove the protective caps from the end of one IV tubing set. Attach the end of the tubing to one arm of the Y-side connector. Use a push and twist motion to secure. Repeat this step with the second IV tubing set so that each arm of the Y-side connector has a tubing attached. Both sets of tubing must be primed before starting the PN infusion. Your pumps and tubing sets may differ from the picture. You are now ready to prepare your flush syringes and connect both sets of PN tubing to the infusion pumps. For next steps, please watch the Curlin or CAD infusion pump video. You can determine the specific pump model you've been given by looking at your infusion pumps. Please note, as you follow the steps in the pump video, you will have to repeat steps for both pumps. Inspect both tubing sets to ensure tubing is primed all the way to the end of the Y-side tubing. The information in this video is for educational purposes and is not intended to replace any medical advice or instructions that you have received from your physician or other health care provider. If you have questions, please call your Option Care Health Pharmacy at any time.